light make this top totally see through this dress see through probably i can't really see if it does we're gonna have to go with it would say welcome back but that was such a cringe like cliche thing to say um plus this is like my fourth video and i've done like two months without posting one so we're just gonna breeze past that also ignore the fact that i have a headband in my hair i know no one wears headbands anymore but i had my hair cut yesterday and i have these new fringy things and this is the only way that it's not going to irritate me while i film this video so there's a lot of things to ignore but the date is the 15th of april which means we have officially been out of lockdown semi out of lockdown anyway we're not like totally out but things are pretty much pretty much back to normal and have been since the 12th so i went and spent some money i went to zara urban outfitters primark but i didn't use get a primark bag from there i just shoved everything in my other bags went to john lewis and also my on brown so i'm going to show you the bits that i bought i just want to say straight up everywhere was very underwhelming zara i queued outside there got in there was nothing i actually like really really wanted nothing in a size six eights tens twelves um which was kind of disappointed in there then i went into primark the queue for primark was unlike anything i've ever seen in my life but i had time to kill so i queued and got in there and again was very underwhelmed so it's not a great haul but i did spend a fair amount of money the best place was urban outfits i'm not gonna lie but even in there things were gone so i would say maybe like wait a week before you go shopping because honestly it wasn't really worth it but without further ado we're gonna jump in i'm gonna stop complaining and let's start with zara so i only actually bought two things from zara because like i said there was nothing that i actually like really really wanted um, and one thing that I bought when I was in the shop, I was like, oh, you don't really need that. Um, so let's start. I bought two dresses from Zara. I bought this dress. This is, I got this in a medium. This was $27.99. It's just a white dress. It has these tiny little straps and then these cutouts. It's kind of like straight across. Just gonna hug the boobs. And then it's got these cutouts on the side and it's a mini. But I thought this would just be like a cute dressed away in the summer but this bit of me where this cut out is is not very flattering so i haven't tried this on yet i was waiting to film this video but it might end up being returned to be fair um but i just like white at the minute white is like my go-to color to wear especially in the summer so it might be cute i have to try it on the next thing that i bought from zara is this this was 25.99 and it's a black satin mini like not skater but you know it's got a lot of extra fabric down here that's kind of swishy um and again i don't really know why i bought this i think it was just because i was looking for anything that was remotely cute but i thought this would be like cute on a night out you can make it dressy you can catch it up with some docks and like a leather blazer so i thought this was quite cute but i actually bought something really similar from urban outfits which i prefer Ted's rustling in the bag down here. Get out. Oh. Yeah, I actually bought something really similar from Urban Outfits, which I'll show you in a minute, which I actually prefer to this. So I'm gonna try this on, see if I'm into it. If not, it'll end up being returned, but it feels really good quality. Like it's weighty. Have to see. That was literally everything I bought from Zara. Like I told you, very underwhelming. Not even like any basics in there that I wanted or like could pick up because they weren't in my size. So I'm gonna have to go back in like two weeks maybe when they've restocked a bit and everything's not as busy. So that was annoying, but next, let's do Primark. A few bits in Primark. Again, underwhelmed, but some real gems. I feel like I did pick up some real gems. Let's start with this. So this is a like a grey trench. It looks more blue on camera, but it's actually more of like a grey blue colour. Molly May showed one from Pretty Little Thing in a haul ages ago and it sold out so quick and I was in love with it. And I actually ordered one. It cost me like £50. I ordered one and it still hasn't turned up because there's been like a massive delay in shipping. 
So I picked up this one in the meantime. This was only £23. And if it looks cute on, I'll just return the other one that cost me 50 quid because that's a big price difference. There's just a grey trench, like a dark grey blue trench. It has the tie around the waist, the little cuff sleeves with the button. I live in trenches at the minute. I have a green like khaki one, a normal like beige one. And I just envision this with like white cycling shorts, a white like hoodie, and then this over the top with like Converse or Air Force. This will look so cute. Um, and it feels really nice, like really nice material. I picked this up and then there was a girl behind me who was like, oh my God, I need that. So I'm surprised there was any of these left to be honest in a size 10 as well and they had like all the sizes left but normally you find that a primark anything that's really nice they have loads of stuff left because everyone goes in for like ugly pajamas and pants don't they so talking of pants i actually picked them up i actually wanted like 10 more pairs um but this was the only set i could find in like a size medium i'm actually normally a small but i figured you can go bigger with pants anyway, can't you? This is just like their three pack of whites. But the pants section was a mess. I could not be bothered to like rummage through and find any more pants that were my size. So I thought three pairs will get you by for now. So I picked those up. They were four pounds. I thought Primark pants used to be a pound. What the hell? Oh my God, I didn't even check that. I just assumed they would be super cute four pounds for three pairs of pants mate that's expensive primark damn anyway i've needed a dressing up for the longest time i have two like satin cute i'm gonna kill my really rich husband ones but when i fake tan or i'm just chilling at night eating pizza watching netflix i just want something that's cozy so i wanted like a big fluffy one Obviously they didn't have any. Um, so I picked up this, this will do in the meantime. This is like a soft, it's actually from their sustainable range. It was 13 pounds. It's just like a soft like cotton one um, in like an oatmeal color with a tie waist. It has a hood too. Does it? Yeah, no? Yeah, it has a hood. And it feels really soft and cozy. So it'll keep me like snug. When I've like hopped out the shower, tanned, exfoliated, washed my hair and I'm getting ready. I need like a dressing gown to just wrap on and keep cute in. Um, so I bought this one. Cause no one's ever gonna see me in it really anyway. Um, and it's gonna do the job. So it'll probably be so much darker than this by the weekend when I've tanned, but everyone has a dressing gown that looks like that, right? Next up was this cute little top actually i got this in a size eight and it was 10 pounds which again 10 pounds a bit pricey for primark but it's kind of like this white waistcoat top vibe um i bought it in a in in an eight because i want it to be like tight on the boob so hopefully we'll get some good cleavage in this section here it's going to be cold because it is sleeveless, but you could layer this up if you wanted to. You could put something underneath it. I probably won't. I'll probably just wear this with like a leather trouser or something or like a wide leg blue jean. Um, I thought this is quite like a unique find for Primark. I have to see what it looks like on. It might not fit because my boobs are huge at the minute because I keep putting weight on. Um, but not bad not bad for 10 pounds cute right next i did get a basic this is one of their like long vest dresses i sleep in these basically um so i have loads of them but i haven't bought any for ages obviously with lockdown so i just picked up one i normally pick up two with a white and a black they didn't have my size in the black just picked up a white one i literally just sleep in them they're basically like a vest but really long um and stretchy I wake up and it's the whole thing is like up over my boobs but they're comfy to go to bed in and these are like £3.50 so um yeah they're like great just to sleep in basically so I have one of those and then finally from Primark I bought these these are like what do they call these like Bermuda no like a Bermuda short yeah have I made that up basically it's a short that's longer than a short short normally it's um these were 13 pounds so that's like a, that is a bargain you see some things are like really not a bargain from primark like the pants and then other things like this like this is a pair of shorts for 13 pounds so that's really good um but they're basically 
just they're super high waist which is what attracted me to them because it means you can wear like something a little bit more cropped on top and then long so hopefully hopefully these will be flattering i haven't tried them on yet the thing is with stuff like this with high-waisted jeans because i'm tall everything automatically is like hiked right up there anyway and sometimes it's just not very flattering if you know what i mean so i'm hoping that these have got a, a, a good amount of room here to fit everything in comfortably and not be like super tight i bought these in a 10 um i vary from like 8 10 up to flipping size 16 if we're like in zara or somewhere so we'll have to see what these are like um but they had loads of these loads and loads so if you're if you're on the hunt for a pair of shorts like this but you're not sure if they'll suit you then primark's probably a good place to go before you spend like literally i went into urban outfits and they've got some exactly the same for like 55 quid so you may as well try primark first okay so that is primark i'm gonna do the next two little places next and then we'll finish with urban outfits so i popped into Morton brown which i'm not gonna lie was a massive massive imports purchase i had to walk past the Morton brown shop on my way back from another shop and at christmas i was using their rhubarb and rose shower gel and i just loved it like i literally fell in love with it and i hate the smell of rose mm, it smells so good i hate the smell of rose but for some reason with this rhubarb and rose it's beautiful this is the only shower gel where i can use it let's go to see it wake up in the morning and still smell of my shower gel it's beautiful it's pricey i think this is like 22 pounds let me check yeah this is 22 pounds um for the shower gel but it's only me that uses my shower so i'll know when to like use it for special occasions or not you know i actually have loads of their minis i bought myself at christmas like over every christmas they do a gift set with like 10 or maybe 12 of their minis in um and i haven't even used all of them yet but nothing compares to this so i picked up another one of these for the shower so i can smell delicious and also because the woman in there was really nice she was trying to sell me other stuff and it was dead in the shop and i felt really bad i bought their hand cream too in the same scent and i never use hand cream like ever but i figured i figured um wow that really does not want to go on it we are anti-backing our hands so much at the minute i don't want my hands being like all old and crusty and gross and dry so I bought their hand cream too. And that was only £10. And it smells good. So I can pop that into my bag. So that was like my nice little £32 imports purchase from Martin Brown. I actually used to work in House of Fraser. Like that was my first job on their in their beauty bit. And they had a Martin Brown in there. And I used to smell their scents all the time and never be impressed by them. And then as I got older, I'm like, ooh. Like, Morton Brown really gets me excited. When I was, like, 16, I could never understand why anyone would spend £22 on a body wash. But now I'm that girl. Anyway, next. This is Dolce & Gabbana, but it's not, like, it's not that fancy. Don't get gassed. Um, I basically hopped in to see the girls at John Lewis, who I actually used to work with at House of Fraser. They all now work in John Lewis, which is cute. Because it means when I go in there, I can see them. Um, and I was bullied into... <laughs> I was bullied into it, but I was um, encouraged to purchase a new fragrance. So this is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. I believe it's their new one. That's what I was told. Um, and I smelled this in the shop and it was nice, but like I wasn't like obsessed with it. So I'm going to open it right now and spray it and see how it smells on my actual skin cute though right apparently this is like for the mistress or something so the girl who sold it me said it suited my vibe but the packaging is cute look at that cute right Ooh. i only got it in the 50 mil though if it's nice if it's nice i'll go back for the bigger one whoa yeah this one's nice i actually am a massive perfume fan i have a fair few I wanted um, the Tom Ford one. I want to try their black cherry one, is it? They have a cherry one anyway. I really want to try that, but I think it's only in Selfridges. So I'm going to have to wait. But this was cute. Um, it's just 
smells sweet. It's just a sweet scent, basically. So if you're intrigued what I smell like, it's this at the minute. And also, you got a free gift with that. So this is like something that you put in with your, your underwear drawer or something. And then it makes your pants smell nice. It has like little cushions that you spray and put in with your underwear. And then all your underwear smells like that. So that was John Lewis. Okay, finally, let's do Urban Outfitters. I went into Urban Outfitters specifically for one dress that I'd seen on TikTok, which is the one that looks really similar to the Zara one. And I went around, was shopping, couldn't see it, stood in the massive queue to pay and clocked it. So I had to jump out of the queue and get pick up the dress. And I don't think they actually had it in my size. Oh fuck, I picked it up in an extra small. They had like, a, they had two left on the rack, right? I checked one and it was a large and I thought that's not gonna work. And the other one looked smaller, but because I was in a rush, I just picked it up because I thought that would be fine. I didn't think it was an extra small, I thought it was a small. So I might have to return this. Damn it, I hope not though. Basically, it was this and it looks like lingerie and it's not going to really show on camera but it's not but it's basically just a black dress but it has it's all like mesh netting um and it has like ruffles and a little bow here and it's like a slip dress basically it literally looks like lingerie but i figured like the other one the zara one that i was talking about earlier this would be such a cute like date dress with a blazer and then like heels if you wanted to go like dressier or just like docks if you want us to go like casual vibes but it's still sexy you know the back's quite low the boobs would be out haven't tried it on yet it's definitely not gonna fit but this was 44 pounds but that's to be expected at urban outfit so i hope it looks cute and i hope it fits but it probably won't let's be real i don't want it to be like t super tight and clingy because that's not flattering i want it to fit like kind of loose and just tight on the the boobs if that makes sense anyway that's the one thing i went in for but i did buy other stuff i for example <laughs> these so i have the black juicy tracksuit currently but they have a skirt that says juicy on i have like the bandeau and the joggers at the minute but they have the skirt and i'm pretty sure this is exclusive to urban this is 45 pounds, but this it's like a wrap skirt. Oh my God, I just love it. And do you know what the worst thing is, right? I don't think I'll actually ever wear this out of the house. <laughs> but it's cute to like chill in at home, get a pick in. I love it. And this is so comfortable, like so comfortable, so soft. I love it. So to me, it's worth it. So gas that they do a skirt. They also had like the little booty shorts too, but more of a skirt fan so i bought that i bought this i have loads of these types of tops from urban this was 36 pounds and i got it in a medium um they're just like their corset tops they had this one in a slightly like darker shade than this um it's just lacy again it kind of looks like lingerie so it's cute if you're doing like a girl's night out or a brunch you could throw like a big denim jacket over this and it's still cute but you'd still be kind of warm um literally just like lacy vibes it's a satin material though so these look really cute you can wear them with leather trousers if you're going like out for cocktails or with a jacket if you're brunching just like them they always have these types of tops in as well and i get so much wear out of them so big plus for me for that this was the first thing i picked up and put in my basket and it's a bit out there for me Again, need to try it on. Basically, I'm gonna try everything on, hate everything, and then next week go back into turn to town to return everything. I think that's the way it's gonna go. I like a feeler tennis dress. This is like velvet material though. It's so soft. When I touched it, that was what sold it to me. It has these little cap sleeves, and then it goes out into like that, like A-line skirt dress vibe. It's in a cream color. It has buttons down the front as well, so you can have some boob if you wanted to. I just think this is going to be really cute with like trainers in the summer and it's warm it's going to be warm because this is so soft i wish you could literally touch this but you can't but yeah what size did i get that in 
a medium. Again, don't know if it's gonna fit. Don't know if it's gonna look cute, but I liked it. The thing is with Urban Right, it's the girl I want to be. Like, I go into there and I'm like, God, if I was cool, everything in here would look cute on me. I'm just not cool. So I buy things hoping that I can pull it off and normally I just can't really actually sad this was a right find this was on like their rack of last chance to buy so it's things that they have like one of left to sell basically it's this i'm gonna picture this like in summer with trainers a big oversized jacket cute vibes this is in a size small and i paid 39 pounds for it but it's again it's like this material is like what you'd buy pants like pants are made in this material kind of satiny but not really stretchy you'll know what i mean has little cap sleeves it's this blue blue color strings at the front so you can tie a little bow and then it goes into that like a line ted's wrestling again ted can you find a space that you like you still you gonna be still Yes, yeah, so it's blue, it's got the cat sleeves, quite low. Oh wait. <laughs> it's kind of low cut, so you've got some cleavage, a little bow. It's very pretty. Like it'll look pretty on. And then just the big floaty skirt at the bottom. It feels so soft. Everything from there feels really soft and like nice quality. And that was everything I bought from Urban. Let me just check. Nothing else left in there. So that was it. That's literally all I bought. I really wanted to spend more money, I'm not gonna lie, but there wasn't things that I really wanted to buy. There was just not, it was not what I was expecting it to be. I didn't pop into, obviously Topshop doesn't exist anymore, does it? It was really sad walking past that and all of it being closed because the Topshop in Nottingham is actually really good, what it used to be. Um, so if there's no Topshop, New Look and like H&M, they're all the other side of knots and I couldn't be bothered to walk down there. So this is what we did, just to have my hair done. Um, but yeah, that's it, we're all good. I probably will show bits and pieces on Instagram of like me trying it on if you're, if you're really interested. Um, that's it from me, basically. I'm gonna try and be on top of this a little bit more really hard to think of inspiration of like what to film but now we're out and about hopefully the ideas will come back to me but thank you for subscribing in, in the first place i really appreciate it and hopefully i definitely will see you really really soon peace out